Good morning, Harold Ford. The focus on the economic message that you highlight, uh, that you highlighted early in your remarks. Give us a sense of what that economic message may be going forward. I agree with your analysis about 09 and 10, but we, we, I think we could probably agree the body of work that Donald Trump has given us in six months was certainly bigger and more offensive and scarier in some ways than what uh, Barack Obama had done the first six months. So what does an economic message in your mind look like, a winning one for Democrats between now and next November? So I think this is the most important question for Democrats, and I think we have to challenge ourselves. I think we've been hyper-confused uh, over the course of the past five years. Some of the time we're talking about economic growth, some of the time we're talking about economic fairness. Um, I don't know whether we've won the economic fairness argument. I think to a lot of people that sounds like taking money from me to give to somebody else. I think people right now desperately care about growth, growth in wages, growth in hours, growth in jobs. Right? They just don't have enough money on a daily basis in order to make their lives work, in order to save for retirement, in order to put their kids through college. They want more. And so everything Democrats talk about when yeah. it comes to the economy has to be about more. Higher wages, right? More college education to get them a, a better job. Um, lower taxes for the folks that targeting. Uh, I just think we've got to be hyper-focused on this question of wage growth and job growth. And, and, and don't get scared off by that message just because it's been what Republicans have been talking about. We get there through a different way. We get there through building the bottom yeah. up. They get there through trickle down. I, I 